we're thrilled to have here in the flesh a guy that we ran into and met at a local charity tournament recently. He is in season three on Fox, and man, I, I've been a fan of yours for quite some time. Ajax and the Warriors, Gans in 48 Hours, Mortal Kombat, Annihilation, Dexter, now Gotham, Sex in the City. Good to see you, James Remar. How are you, sir? Very well, thank you. Good to be here. Yes. Now, uh, show off what you have brought here to the Rich Eisen <clears throat> Show set. Uh, okay. And I will do my best to describe it for those who are listening in on our simulcast right now. That's a piece of le- it's a leather vest that says on the back, it says, Warriors. Is that from the this, Warriors? This is my screen-worn vest when I played the character Ajax in the movie The Warriors. It's, it's one of a kind. There was only one. Uh, because actually, The Warriors was kind of a, a low-budget film mm-hmm. back then for a studio film. We only had one vest each, uh, <laughs> That's and I it. made off with mine at the end. Of, yeah, you, typically on a on a show, you have like three or four. Yeah, but we had one. You can see this kind of. I, I leaned up against something one night, and there's that black stain around the. Okay. You can actually see yep. that in the movie, and. Uh, you know, I, I I took it home with me and uh, gave it to my then girlfriend, and she kept it for me for the 38 years. And she just contacted yeah. you out of the blue and said, yeah, "Well, does it fit? You're gonna get up here, okay? What do you got no, now? I'm not gonna try it on. Try it on. Come on, James. Uh, when was the last time you put this on? <laughs> About 10 minutes ago. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> James Remar back in his war. Oh, back in my war. Well, you know, you're hey, in the fits. gang for life. It doesn't really fit. <laughs> I'm still a bad <laughs> now you know you know that the Golden State Warriors on their amazing run right now. I they do play know. they play that in the arena. They play that exa- All right, Golden State Warriors. I'm I'm accepting offers. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I would put that there. Imagine Steph Curry coming out in that. No, I'm, no by the way, I would yeah, like to make a good that, idea. No, hold on a second. Does. I want to make that my this show's mission that we we take that this Warriors vest that you James Remar have brought here <sighs> winds up on the body of Steph Curry because that looks like that would fit Steph. It like, probably would fit him better than me, you know, because I've gained about twenty pounds since then, all muscle, of course. <laughs> of course, but uh, did no, so it would. Oh, should, we, should we get like making make? Let's. We had Peter Goober on the show. Maybe Peter makes an offer for it, and we we, we let him know. I'd, I'd, I'd even bring it to the game in person. You know, I like it. Whatever they want. Hook up. Yeah. Yeah. Whatever they want. We could figure this thing out. But it is—it is one of a kind. It's screen worn. It's, uh, I believe, the only one in existence. Did you know the original patches? Did you know at the time the Warriors would be possibly a cult of any sort of cult? Had no idea. I was just showing up, you know, one night at a time because we shot the whole thing at night. Mm -hmm. Um, Trying to play the part as authentically and and as energetically as possible. Mm-hmm. I, I had no idea that it was going to be as popular as it as it still is, nearly 30, 38 years later. Right. And then a few years later, uh, James Remar here on the Rich Eisen Show, you wind up uh, in 48 hours with... With Walter Hill as my director. Yet same, again. same same guy. Yep. And you're in this movie with Nick Nolte and some kid named Eddie Murphy. His first movie. Did you know at the time what Eddie had going for him? Well, I Eddie? knew he was funny as Gumby on, uh, yeah. <laughs> on Saturday Night Live. He right. was great. And uh, and uh, um, he, he played Buckwheat. Yes, he I had, did. I had no idea that he uh, had such poise. Because a feature film is a very different uh, atmosphere and set than, uh, than, than, than a television show. Yeah. Um, and uh, and, and uh, a comedy TV show. And, and and there's there's kind of a a size and a gravity that you have to take on on a on a feature film that is um, back then was a, just a little more demanding than than being on a on a on a TV show at the time or so I thought right and this kid showed up at the age of 21 and uh, had tremendous poise tremendous uh, uh, professionalism and uh, I was in awe of him and. Um, I knew he was doing a great job, and I know that you know Nick was such a big actor with such gravity oh, that, yeah. that, that we were on the right track with something, but I had no idea that it was, once again, going to be as huge a hit as it turned out to be. And I mentioned the other, that, that the other day, Jonathan Banks, the actor who's gone on to break it I bad. I shot him. And, uh, yeah, yeah. You shot him <laughs> in the opening. Well, that's what started the whole plot line yeah. with you know Nick Nolte's character getting yeah. shot. Yeah. I mean, his, his partner getting shot. He, he says... He, he says Did, uh, 
He says, don't you do that, Jack. Don't give up your gun. Don't do that for me. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> and I say, nice gun, Pop. Did you did you say anything? I mean, are you, are you friendly with him? Or well, do you I, I the- say it to him every time. I ask him, how's the wife? And he says, mean as a snake. <laughs> 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 and apparently, he came up with that line on, on the day of. That was not scripted. Right. Um, oh, yeah. I, I, uh, I, I, I reminisce with him about that every time. James we Re- do these tournaments. James Remar here uh, on the Rich Eisen show. So, w- what what sport are you a, a fan of specifically? Do you have one that you're? Well, you you're... know, I'm I'm a fan of all athletic endeavor. Really, right. uh, the man to man competition is is has always been something I've been. So uh, boxing, boxing, and uh, I'm a big fan of sumo wrestling right now. Come on. I, I love sumo wrestling. Where do you? Where does one catch well, it? Well, I, I watch it. Uh, they have the sumo highlights on on NHK in the mornings, and I I watch it on um, <laughs> streaming, and I watch it on YouTube. Now that is that is serious commitment right there. It, so it, how did you get into sumo wrestling? Well, my my wife is Japanese. Okay. My kids are half Japanese. I've spent time there, and I've always been a martial artist, judo, and okay, just started watching it, and uh, it, it really grabbed me. Uh, it, it, it's an amazing no sport. These, the guys, these 400-pound guys that are basically naked, slamming into each other like Mack trucks with, with, with 150% of their energy. And it's over in two, three seconds. Sometimes maybe 30 seconds is a long bout. But the punishment they, they dish out and that they take, yeah. they, they just beat the crap out of each other. Black eyes, bloody noses, mm-hmm. dislocated shoulders. It's phenomenal. <laughs> <laughs> so, are you a UFC person also? I, 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 I uh, not so much. I, I'm, I'm, I. It gets a little complicated for me. Mm-hmm. I mean, I, I do admire their athleticism, uh, but I'm, I'm kind of a purist. I like boxing to be boxing. I like wrestling to be wrestling. Uh, I, I, you know, to me, it gets too. I, I, I'm not a fan of ground and pound. To me, it does that kind of leaves the realm of sports and gets into street fighting. Well, now, I, but I think you're, you're into what people are into. I mean, the mixed martial arts. It, it's, it's that, it, that it, first it, M that people are kind of into right now. Uh, I, I like keeping them separate. I, I, like, I like stand-up boxing, and I like, I like wrestling. I don't know if can we can we sell separate martial arts as a as an as a as an organization? I don't think this that, that doesn't have that no, ring no, to it. It's, it's the SMA, SMA. It's the SMA. SMA. <laughs> the SMA. <laughs> well, yeah, you can probably sell a lot of that. Um, <laughs> you know, I, I admire their athleticism because they're right. so well conditioned. I just don't like ground and pound. Yeah. I, I don't like guys laying on top of each other, punching each other in the ribs for three or four minutes. I, 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 I think it kind of it just gets like a street fight. Couple more minutes here. I've seen James. too many of those. I hear you. I, I bet here, James Remar here uh, on the Rich Eisen show. So wh- when you're, I know that's unpopular. No, no, it's okay. Uh, I mean, we, we've trust me, we've had people come on the show with with crazier notions than the fact that they're that you're a purist. I mean, you know what I mean. That's I mean, basically sorts. what you're saying. No, no. I mean, that that's absolutely what you're saying. So I was. I'm not going to ask you it's about like the McGregor Mayweather fight. Then. Eye gouging into a. You know, into something. I, I kind of don't dig it. Right. So, what? Which film that you look back on from your history, your 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 filmography? Are you you pointing at that hasn't gotten as much recognition that you think that that's something that I, I was proud to be in, um, or something a, that a movie I did called Windwalker. Mm-hmm. Uh, it was a movie that came out a few years before Dances with Wolves, and there are those that say it, it inspired quite a bit of it. Okay. Um, we speak the Native American languages, and I'm like kind of the last white actor to play a Native American, uh, and with permission of of my Cheyenne chief at the time, mm-hmm. and um, hmm. I'm very proud of it. Okay, it, it's it's a very beautiful wilderness film, and it's a very simple story that uh, you know I had to do a lot of getting the crap beat out of me. I got thrown from horses three times. I got trampled. I'm running around in a loincloth and. You know, the, the, the Red Earth News, which is a Native American publication, referred to me as Indian actor James Remar. So I fooled him. There you go. And that, that, that's, that's kind of my deal. And who, what, what do you get most when people see you on the street or say? Uh, it depends. The ladies, I get Sex in the City. Uh, <laughs> the guys, I get The Warriors. And uh, then there's the, 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 the odd bunch in between that it's kind of an equal uh, blend of Dexter. Dexter. Yeah. For me, it would be 48 hours. I'm serious. Cool. We, you, you were frightening. I mean, you were believable as a psychotic psychopath <laughs> to the <laughs> end of the degree. No, seriously. <laughs> you were, I mean, frightening. 
in that movie? It was a it was a, a big part. It was my biggest part to date. It was uh, and I was playing with big stars and uh, you know he he's in it from beginning to end and and really carries that movie uh, the 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 dark side of that movie. He was the Darth Vader of that movie, no doubt. And uh, you know I'm kind of a shy wimpy guy you know in in real life i'm, I'm I, I was like you the other night i was watching the game by myself on the couch which one's uh, that which the, one was the, this? the celtics and the wizards phenomenal game mm -hmm. um and i just had to really puff myself up to play that part and be in gear all the time it was exhausting well, I got to tell you, I mean, and, and, and I appreciate you bringing the, the Warriors vest right yeah, here. That was just a last second thought. It, well, but by the way, brilliant last second thought. We will not rest here on the Rich Eisen show till that is draped on the shoulders of Steph Curry. That would be badass. Why wouldn't they want to do that? Why yeah. wouldn't Steph they Curry want to? They probably don't think it exists. Here's the problem, though. Steph Curry, we think he's tiny, but he's like 6'3", 6'4". No, six, no, no, no. I mean, he's slender. He's, he's yeah. slender. No, he's, narrow shoulders. Is he 6'4"? He's 6'3", at least. Steph Curry can fit into that vest. I bet he could. I bet he can. And why wouldn't they want like an original Ajax Warriors vest I mean, on, on his shoulders while they play? You know the whole Warriors thing going on. I mean for sure. <laughs> Six three, a buck ninety. There you go. Can so. you dig it? That's also. You know, Shaq, <laughs> Shaq said that when they after they won uh, right, the championship. Yeah, that was uh, that was the great Roger Hills line. He was. Uh, Played the played the original Cyrus and had that great speech. Yeah, and Roger was a a, a stage Shakespearean actor, and and doing take after take after take for it was like very disorienting for him. Mm -hmm. For most of us, it was our first movie. We we're all stage actors in New York. And so then he, can you dig it? That was, <laughs> that was him being Othello. Alas, can you dig it? Alas. Uh, good to see you, James Gotham. Again, it airs Mondays, 8 Eastern on Fox. You're in season three. And come back anytime. We'd love to have you. Oh, wow. Thank you. You got it. That's James Remar here on The Rich Eisen Show. The Rich Eisen Show. Weekdays at noon Eastern on radio stations across the country and audience. If you like that, please download our app. There's lots of fun things there other than just more of the videos you just saw. You can call us from the app. You can email us from the app. Just download it. Trust me, you'll enjoy it.